The assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump has shocked the nation. But that stunning moment is part of a long history of political violence in the U.S. targeting presidents and presidential candidates. In 1865, America's 16th president, Abraham Lincoln, assassinated. Nearly a century later, in 1963, President John F. Kennedy was shot and killed in Dallas while riding in a motorcade. His brother, Robert Kennedy, shot and killed five years later in 1968 while campaigning for president. Then, 13 years after that, in 1981, there was the assassination attempt on President Ronald Reagan. In recent years, politicians on both sides of the aisle have also been the target of attacks. Like Democratic Congresswoman Gabby Giffords, who was shot in 2011, and Republican Congressman Steve Scalise, who was shot at a congressional baseball team practice in 2017. Since then, the divisive political climate has escalated even more, leading to the 2020 plot to kill Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer and the 2022 attack on House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's husband, Paul Pelosi. We cannot condone this. Both Republicans and Democrats are condemning the attack on Mr. Trump, but the incident only punctuating growing concerns about increasing polarization in the country. A poll from earlier this year found one in five Americans think violence might be necessary to get the country back on track. Many who witnessed history Saturday say something has to change. How is this happening in our country today? And why? Why is it happening? A dangerous reckoning in America now reaching a boiling point. Liz Kreutz, NBC News. For more now, I want to bring in presidential historian and NBC News contributor Michael Beschloss. Michael, it's good to be with you tonight as part of our special coverage. We are only about 24 hours or so removed from this attempted assassination on former President Trump, and it, it feels so immediate, so uh, immediately recent. It's hard to think about how this will be contextualized in the history books, but help us do that. Pull us back up to 30,000 feet and put this moment into some context. Okay, I'll try. It does seem pretty raw. And Hallie, you're absolutely right. You know, the best thing, one of the best things about American history and American society is we correct ourselves. We, lo we learn lessons from horrible moments. You know, we just uh, heard about Ronald Reagan being shot only a couple months into his presidency. There was an era of brief good feeling that year and the two parties in Congress got some things done. So as horrible as this was yesterday, if it leads to a campaign that is more devoid of falsehoods, more devoid of personal insults, avoids violence, it certainly will not make up for the horrible event that happened yesterday, uh, it, it, that violence in Butler, Pennsylvania, but at least it'll show American society at its best. We always try to do better. Of course, one difference, one of the many differences between now and what happened decades ago, you look at the images from the crowd, almost everybody has a phone in their hand. Almost everybody right. is capturing the first draft of history, Michael. That, that plays right. into this as well. Absolutely right. You know, Theodore Roosevelt was shot while campaigning in Milwaukee, of all places, in 1912, but people learned about that through newspapers. Imagine if people on their iPhones had seen Theodore Roosevelt being shot in the middle of a speech and saying, I'm going to keep on going on even if I die because what I have to say is so important. Michael Beschloss, uh, thank you for being with us tonight. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.